The Tesla Optimus 5.3 has officially debuted on X, showcasing major breakthroughs in design, movement, and artificial intelligence. Elon Musk called it the first version good enough for mass production. In 2024 alone, Tesla spent over $1 billion on humanoid robot R&D. So what exactly is new about Optimus V3? Before we begin, please help us reach 13,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. What's impressive about the new design of Optimus V3? Revealed by Elon Musk on X, the head of Tesla Optimus 5.3 immediately leaves a strong impression. The glossy black visor stretches like a premium protective glass, completely concealing any emotions. But inside is a system of sensors and cameras capable of processing up to 1,000 images per second. The seamless, sharp design is fully optimized for machine vision and the powerful FSD chip, representing a significant evolution from the previous generation. Compared to the Gen 2 version, which still had a visible gap between the visor and the forehead, V3 has eliminated all joints. The transition from the head to the neck is smoother, reflecting Tesla's effort to create a more unified and durable form. The camera module is believed to use the same image sensor as the FSD hardware 4 suite in Tesla vehicles, with a resolution of 5 megapixels per lens, allowing for high-resolution 360-degree perception. In the Gen 2 model, the number of cameras was unclear and the head design was closer to a prototype. Now, V3's head is not only more refined, but also built with production-level materials. The glass is likely made from a hardened composite or sapphire-coated polymer, capable of withstanding high-impact shocks and maintaining optical clarity over time. This is essential for AI to process image data without distortion. Additionally, the surface is curved and non-reflective, reducing light interference, something the Gen 2 visor did not effectively address. In terms of weight, sources estimate the entire head module weighs under 3 kilograms, helping maintain a low center of gravity when the bot walks or balances. In contrast, Gen 2 had a heavier and less streamlined design, which could affect long-term mobility or energy efficiency. The new design also appears to incorporate passive cooling vents on the side, possibly for the embedded processor. Tesla's decision to refine the head of Optimus is not merely aesthetic. It directly impacts real-world applications, where the robot must identify objects, human gestures, and environmental hazards with high precision. A poorly placed or obstructed camera could be the difference between safe navigation and an accident. Therefore, this evolution from Gen 2 to Gen 3 is as much about safety and functionality as it is about design. If V2 was a promise, V3 is execution. With stronger integration between form and function, Tesla is moving closer to mass-producing a humanoid robot that not only looks futuristic, but also performs effectively in dynamic environments. The head, the face of Optimus, now embodies that shift with confidence and technical maturity. How impact-resistant is Optimus 5.3? With a weight of around 125 pounds, Tesla Optimus Gen 3 is already lighter than the average adult human, which typically weighs about 170 to 200 pounds. This lightweight design plays a crucial role not just in energy efficiency, but also in improving the robot's maneuverability and reducing the impact during falls or collisions, making it safer to operate alongside humans. More impressively, despite its compact frame, Optimus is capable of lifting loads of up to 44 pounds, roughly equal to a typical bag of cement or a medium-sized suitcase. That's already approaching the lifting capacity of many warehouse workers on a task-by-task -task basis. When compared to the average human who can comfortably lift around 50 to 70 pounds, Optimus is remarkably close, and with the added advantage that it doesn't fatigue, doesn't take breaks, and doesn't complain. In terms of walking speed, Optimus Gen 3 can currently move at 2.2 miles per hour, slightly slower than the average human walking pace of 3 to 4 miles per hour. However, this is an intentional design choice, prioritizing stability and precision over speed. It's more important that the robot doesn't trip or bump into things than it is to rush a task. In a warehouse or factory setting, consistent and careful movement is often more valuable than rushing between shelves. Moreover, Elon Musk has suggested that Optimus will eventually achieve running speeds faster than humans once balance and joint responsiveness reach higher thresholds through software updates and improved actuators. When it comes to durability, this is where Optimus starts to break away from typical human labor. 
Tesla is designing it to work in harsh, dusty, and hot environments like warehouses, farms, or even disaster zones. Human workers in such environments need safety gear, brakes, hydration, and protection from heat stroke. But Optimus doesn't sweat, doesn't overheat easily thanks to advanced thermal regulation, and can potentially work 24 hours a day with battery swaps or charging docks. A human simply cannot match that level of continuous physical endurance. Perhaps most importantly, the combination of physical capabilities with a self-learning AI brain makes Optimus far more scalable than human labor. While one person takes years of training and adaptation, Optimus can download task knowledge instantly, replicate across hundreds of units, and be updated overnight. Tesla's aim, according to Elon Musk, is to make Optimus eventually outperform the average human at physical labor, logistics, and routine tasks. Not by brute strength, but by consistency, safety, and intelligent efficiency. In short, the numbers don't lie. Whether it's lifting, moving, or lasting through tough work cycles, Optimus may not outmuscle us, but it outlasts and outperforms us in many repetitive, high-effort jobs. And that alone could revolutionize entire industries, from warehousing to elderly care. Once again, please help us reach 13,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. How has Tesla bought Gen V3 improved the speed and strength of Optimus? A key factor determining Tesla Optimus's ability to replace human labor lies in its speed and responsiveness. Unlike traditional industrial robots that typically operate in fixed positions or on guided tracks, Optimus is designed to move freely in 3D space, just like a human. And, in practice, the latest improvements in Optimus Gen 3 have demonstrated that its walking speed and reaction time are now approaching the capabilities of an average manual laborer. This marks not only a technical leap, but also signals a new era of flexible automation in warehouses, farms, and factories. Specifically, Tesla reports that Optimus Gen 3 can walk at approximately 5 feet per second, around 1.5 meters per second, nearly matching the average adult human walking speed of 4.9 feet per second. This means that in environments like logistics centers, where workers frequently walk back and forth between shelves, Optimus can fully keep up with the pace. Moreover, in a demonstration released by Tesla in early 2025, Gen 3 was shown walking smoothly up and down inclined stairs, something very few humanoid robots can currently do. This clearly demonstrates its ability to adapt to complex terrain, an area where humans have historically held a distinct advantage. Beyond locomotion, Optimus's reflexes are also reaching human-like levels. According to Elon Musk, Optimus Gen 3 is equipped with the latest generation FSD full self-driving chip, akin to the brain of Tesla's self-driving vehicles. This enables the robot to process data from cameras, radar, and ultrasonic sensors in real time to react to sudden situations. During testing at the Fremont factory, Optimus was able to stop almost instantly when a person or object crossed its path, with a latency of only 100 to 200 milliseconds comparable to the subconscious reflexes of a human driver. This response time far surpasses most traditional industrial robots, which may take several seconds to halt or change direction upon encountering an obstacle. Moreover, Optimus's ability to react is not only fast, but also context-aware and intelligent. Unlike robotic arms that operate on rigid pre-programmed instructions, Optimus can make flexible decisions based on its surroundings. For example, in a test on a Model Y component packing line, Optimus was tasked with moving a box from a high shelf to a pallet. When a neighboring rack suddenly tilted and an object fell, Optimus instinctively turned, caught the falling box, and resumed its task, almost as if it had been trained for the situation. This shows an ability to adapt and respond with the fluidity of an experienced human worker. With such mobility and reaction capabilities, Optimus can operate efficiently in high-intensity work environments without creating bottlenecks. A 2024 study by Stanford AI Institute estimated that a humanoid robot with a walking speed of at least 4.5 feet per second and a response time under 300 milliseconds could replace 80% of warehouse workers at Amazon. With Optimus Gen 3, both thresholds have been surpassed. In fact, Tesla has already deployed dozens of these robots at Giga Texas for internal transport tasks. And initial results show the robots can complete assignments 1.5 times faster than human workers over the same period without needing breaks. 
The flexible speed and reaction time also make Optimus well-suited for large environments like farms. In agricultural settings where humans must travel long distances to inspect crops, harvest produce, or feed livestock, Optimus's bipedal design, stair climbing ability, and basic obstacle navigation enable it to perform these tasks without the need for tracks or wheels. Tesla is currently partnering with several farms in Texas, where Optimus is being used for livestock monitoring and transporting lightweight supplies with promising results. Equally important, fast and accurate reactions ensure safety for those working around the robot. In factories with human workers nearby, the ability to stop or evade collisions is critical. Optimus is programmed to prioritize human safety, capable of identifying human motion patterns and avoiding contact, similar to Tesla's autopilot feature. In the future, when Elon Musk deploys tens of thousands of Optimus units in industrial settings, this safety-first approach will be key to securing regulatory approval for large-scale operation. In conclusion, with walking speeds approaching that of human workers, reflexes comparable to a driver's, and the ability to adapt to unpredictable scenarios, Optimus Gen 3 is no longer just a robot. It is becoming a reliable and efficient labor partner across all types of environments. This flexibility is the key that allows Tesla to scale real-world robot deployment not only in their own factories, but in any sector requiring human labor, from logistics and agriculture to service industries. And as the next generation of Optimus emerges, these capabilities will only improve further, gradually blurring the line between human and machine. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.